What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the CFL Podcast, where today we will be talking about C.J. Dumas, all right? That's right. Prairie View A&M got a dual-threat quarterback to replace Jawan Pass when Jawan Pass leaves. Now, I'm not saying he's going to get the starting job next year. I'm just saying when Jawan Pass leaves, they're going to have a great quarterback in C.J. Dumas who's going to be a game-changer for that program, and I'm willing to bet on that. Now, C.J. Dumas... 6'2", 190 pounds. He's a quarterback, of course, um, out of Katy, Texas, class of 2022. Now, according to 24-7 Sports, he's not ranked. He's not ranked. But do not let that deter you because 24-7 Sports, although it can be a very reliable and very helpful tool, it is not the end-all, be-all for high school athletes. Y'all know this. Sometimes, you know, the highest-rated guys don't hit. And sometimes... The guys who weren't ranked, they hit. It's just the way it is sometimes. So, CJ Dumas, man, on Twitter, number one, this kid seems just like, he just seems like he has his head on straight, all right? He has a great uh, family dynamic, very supportive family members who are always tweeting about how proud they are of him and how he's a great young man and everything like that. And you just love to see it, right? Um, on September 24th, on Twitter, he announced his commitment to Prairie View after saying committed, hashtag spot the ball. Um, so he's he's really excited. He's been posting videos of the campus. Um, he's pinned the tweet of his commitment to his wall. He's very excited to be at Prairie View a and And honestly, I think he fits their scheme so well. So well. He's a dual threat guy who does not run just to run. Okay, he runs to buy time. He runs if the pocket collapses, which was rare with his offensive line. Um, and he just had to get some yards out of it. He can do that. And he has a very live arm. The boy's arm is strong. Very strong, all right? So check this out. Out of commitments, I mean, I'm sorry, out of scholarships, he had Drake, he had Middlebury College, Lee University, Amherst, and he took a visit to South Dakota State University. I don't know if they've offered him, but I didn't see it on his Twitter. And we all know, you know an offer is serious and it's official when a commit announces it on their social media. Uh, so, there's that. Now, of course, he had an offer from Prairie View A&M as well, which is why he committed. I just want to say this. I have no idea why he wasn't looked at as as much as he should be. Um, I mean, go to Katy, Texas. You know, I, I would have to imagine that's a that's a decent program in Texas. I don't know how his play style went overlooked. What I love about this kid, right? Like I said, big arm. Big arm. He will throw your receivers open. That's the type of quarterback he is. He throws the receivers open. And he has enough accuracy to not just launch it and it goes like over here, like north-south. Uh, east to west, when you're, you know, we, and it's not in the vicinity of your receiver. Nah, he throws your receivers open, and he has great accuracy when doing so. So, I love that about him. He's great on play action. Play action is his strong suit. He, that boy can sell a fake like no other. Like no other. All right? I almost called him Jordan Belfort, man. If you know, you know. <laughs> that boy can really sell a fake. No. Great dual threat quarterback, as I said. Um, he has enough speed, good speed. I say that he has good speed. He's not a burner. He and he damn sure ain't slow. He has good speed. Um, but what I, if I had to pick a criticism, right? His mechanic is a, you know, he wind up a little bit. It, it it looks like it takes him a little bit longer, like a second longer than what it should to get the ball off. If that would have to be my only criticism of him. But I feel like I'm even nitpicking with that, all right? C.J. Dumas, I cannot wait to see him on the field for Prairie View a and Now, I think now that Prairie View has him, they need to go and continue to get weapons for him, right? Like, I think this is a guy that you can build around, build your program around. And honestly, look out. Look out for Prairie View, man, in the next few coming years. I think if you get some great, some great weapons around him, who knows what could happen? Who knows what could happen, okay? You might see them boys in a SWAT championship. Who knows? In my opinion, I think he will. I I genuinely think he will put them in contention. Like, I just they just need to get him weapons. That's it. 
That's it. They just need to get him weapons. I think C.J. Dumas, I'm I'm a big fan of his game just after watching this tape. I'm a big fan of him. So I I do think that is, if Prairie View gets some weapons, man, he going to lead Prairie View to the promised land or at least have him in contention for it. But that is just my opinion. Y'all seeing his highlights. Y'all let me know what y'all think of C.J. down below in the comment section. Um, if you made it to the end of the video, I really do appreciate you. Uh, I think I have one more video coming out today, maybe two. But, y'all, I'm, I'm just rambling at this point. I go by the name of Kobe. You are watching the CFL Podcast, and I'm out. Peace.